Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Java 15.0.2 on Windows 10 64 bit. So, with that, we will also see how we can run our first program in Java after installation. So, let's see how. At first, we will download Java 15. Let's go to the browser. We are using Chrome, you can use any browser. Click on the browser. After clicking, guys, on Google, type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, guys, you can see the official website is visible oracle.com Java. This is the official website because Oracle acquired Java. Click on it. So now we have reached the Oracle website. Here in on the right, you can see download Java is visible. Click on it. Now the downloads are visible, Java SE downloads. Herein, guys, you can see the current version is Java 15. The exact is Java 15.0.2. So we need to download the JDK. So we'll click on JDK download, click on it. Now guys, we have reached the actual downloads page, go to below. Herein, guys, you can see all the versions are visible. As you know, Java is cross-platform, you can run it on Windows, Linux or Mac. So all the versions are visible here with the file size and the link to download. Herein we want for 64 bit. So Windows X64 installer. Yes, it's 159 MB only. This is the exe file. Just click on it to download. Accepted. I reviewed and accept the Oracle license agreement. Now the download link is visible. Click on the button to download. Now the download started on the left, you can see around 159-160 MB. Wait for a few seconds for the download to complete. You need an internet connection to download it. So guys, now you can see we have successfully downloaded Java 15.0.2. The exe file is visible. Now let us right click or we can straight away double click and install. Let's double click. Minimize this. Now the installation will begin. So the setup started, just click on next. Now you can see it will automatically get installed in program files and create a Java directory and get installed there. If you want to change the directory, click on change here and just set the directory wherein you want to install Java. I'll click on cancel because this is fine for me. It's fine if you'll follow the same path. Go to next. Now the installation started. Now guys, you can see we have completed the installation. Click on close. Now let us go to the path wherein we have installed. Go to C drive. Here in guys, if you remember, go to program files. Here in go to Java. That's it. Double click. 15.0.2. 15.0.2. And here it is. Go to bin. Copy this path. Minimize this and let's set the path that is environment variable. Go to start, type environment, click on edit the system environment variables. Yes, click on it. After clicking, guys, under system properties, advanced tab, go to environment variables, click on it. Now, guys, here is the path. The first one is for only Amit user, this user, and system variables means for the entire system. So, to avoid any future errors, Always go for system variables. Here in all the paths are visible. Double click on the path. Double click. Here in go to below. Click on new here and just paste the path we copied. Yes, the bin path. Here it is. So this was the path we copied and we pasted it here. The same path. Now click on OK. OK again and the last OK to save it. So guys, we have successfully installed it. We have also set the path. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start. Type CMD. Click on the command prompt. Now guys, type the command. 
Java hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Now you can see we have installed 15.0.2. If the following is visible, that means we have successfully installed it. So guys, what we need now, we just need to create a new program and show you how to run a program. So for that, let us create a folder here. Right click. You can create folder anyway because we have already set the path. Here is the folder. Here I'll mention the name. Let's say project. Okay. Here it is. Double click. Now right click and create a new text file. Text document. Yes. Here and let us set the name of the file to be example one dot. So we want Java file. So I hope you know. For Java file, we want we need the extension dot Java. Java. Okay, now when I'll keep the cursor here, it will ask me that you want to change the extension because already it is in text dot txt and we are changing it to Java. Here it is, guys. Yes, we want to change it. We want to change the file name extension. Click on yes. Now, guys, type Java. We have converted from dot txt to Java. Right click. Open it in any editor. You can use Notepad or Notepad plus plus. I'll go for Notepad plus plus. If you also want to install Notepad plus plus. I mentioned a link in the description of this video wherein you can install Notepad++ editor. It is free and open source and easy to use. So here is our example one dot Java file. Now, guys, what we need to do? We just need to create a new sample Java program. So, guys, herein let us create a class. Class and the name of the class should be the same as the file name. That is example one. Should be the name. Okay, guys. So here are the brackets. Let us add a sample example wherein we will be printing something. Then we will understand what we have written, what modifiers and everything else keywords we have used. Let's write it. Here it is, guys. We have written the program. Now let us understand it. At first, we used class. So, guys, what is a class? This is basically used to define a class example one. You can give any name to your class, but remember in Java, keep the name of the class same as your class name same as your file name i should say yeah now the next one is public public is basically a access specifier static is basically used to allow the main function to allow this function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance okay guys now void is the return type main this is the main function you can say it is called whenever a java application begins so whenever you run your java program this function will be the first to get executed. Okay, guys. So now, string argument. These are for command line arguments. System is your class, predefined class that provides access. Out is basically the output stream, and print ln is the function to display the string. Ln is for new line. If you'll remove it, both of these lines will be on the same single line. So I'll just keep it, and that's it. Do not forget the semicolon. We have closed the bracket. Everything is fine. Go to file. Save it. Okay, so guys, now the path is the following under desktop project folder example one dot Java. So we need this path. What we'll do? I'll go to project and I'll just copy this path. Okay. So now go to CMD. Just reach the path. C D space right click on right click it will paste the path now you can see we have reached the desktop project folder press enter now here and if you type the command dir directory press enter all the files will be visible here and you can see one file is visible example one dot java is visible here this is what we wanted now guys it's very easy to execute java c is for compiling i hope you know in java you must have read under java virtual machine First we compile, then we run the program. So Java C is for compiling. Write the name of the file, example one dot Java, and press enter. If there will be any error at a time of compilation, it will show here. Press enter. Here it is. Everything is fine. Now let's run it. To run it, just write Java and example the name of the file. That's it. And press enter. Now you can see our output is visible. Here is our first program, Amit Think Studio Pedia. The same is what we printed, and we successfully ran our first program. In the same way, guys, 
under this folder now you can add n number of programs and it automatically created a class file i hope you have read on the java virtual machine how how compilation and execution occurs whenever it occurs it creates a class file so this is what we created here so we created java file and after compiling and executing the class file is visible here and we also ran it successfully here it is output is visible so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install java 15.0.2 we installed it after that we verified the installation after setting the path variable environment variable so here it is java 15.0.2 we successfully installed it then we created a folder on the desktop and ran our first java program so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things